One cream, one bowl, one blade, one brush. Two razors? Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back here. I hope you're well, I hope you're all staying safe uh, and having some great shaves. Right, this has been asked for by a few people in the comments quite recently, so um, I thought, right, okay, let's do it. As you can see from the title, this is the Razor Rock Game Changer 0.84 versus the Homelike uh, Calibri or Hummingbird Razor. This is their new razor. I've just reviewed this recently. So two stainless steel razors, um, all good. So I'm going to shave the right side with the game changer, left side with the hummingbird. Two razors, all stainless steel. The game changer is 0 0.84, 0 0.84. The hummingbird is 0 0.80. Um, yeah, I just did a, I did a comparison video showing four razors. Um, so I just thought I'd, uh, I'd show them off and uh, do a little comparison, see which one's smoother or more efficient, because uh, people like to know these things, right? Um, and it's a good bit of fun. Um, it's not a, this is better than that one, this is, because every razor is different. This razor might work for me. You might try it, I think. I don't like that, it's really rough. Um, you might try this one. Same thing, it might work great for me. I like it, um, but you might use it and think, nah, that's, I don't know why you're going on about that, Kevy. It just doesn't work for me. So there you go. That's uh, part of the fun of uh, wet shaving, I think, is trying out different stuff, uh, seeing what works best for you, and uh, finding out which works best for you, uh, trying out different things. So that's the way it works. Right, I'm going to bowl lather um, an old classic cream uh, cella. Uh, this, is, this is one of the old tubs. I've had this for about four years and it still smells like cherry almonds or almonds. There, there it is there. Yeah, it's kind of went a bit. It's still, it's still, I would still, I would call it a crope more than a cream. So I'm just gonna skip a little bit out. That's way too much, but who cares? <laughs> I'll just press that into the bottom of the bowl like that. Yeah, so this is the way I do it. Just, to, just press it around, kind of making a, a thin layer like that. So there we go, that's in the bottom of the bowl. Yeah, so this is one of the uh, Super Six, six shaving soaps you should have in your den. If I remember, I will put the link for that video uh, in the description, Chella. But I need to update that uh, with six um, kind of modern soaps. Um, there's lots of soaps came out since I made that video, so there are some new new ones that you should have in your den, I think. Personally, that's just my preference, but there you go. Right, the brush, uh, DS Cosmetic, Kevy Shaves, Summer 2020 brush. Uh, here is here, synthetic knot, very good. Right, let's uh, get going with that. Well, first of all, let's uh, load the, the razor with a, a Nasset blade. Right, I'm just gonna use one blade, so the same blade in both razors. So I'll start with the, the Game Changer first. I'll, uh, this is the last one from that pack. Another pack, gone. <laughs> right, so it's a brand new uh, Gillette Nasset. Being careful with my delicate fingers. <laughs> right, so there's the plate there. Right, let's uh, load up this game changer. Yeah, there's lots of videos online about the specs and stuff of these razors. Yeah, so this is the, the, the Game Changers base plate. As you can see, the base, the blade kind of sits on these little nubs. Nubs, I like that word, nubs. Uh, here's the top cap, goes on like that. And then there's a little plastic washer that I like to put on. There's there. Right, let's uh, screw this on. The good thing about the Game Changer, a point straight away for the game changer, there's no overhang on this razor. There is there. Yeah. No overhang at the sides. And, but there is on the uh, hummingbird, but that's okay. Right, let's uh, wet this brush. He's 
just give it a, a little squeeze like that because uh, Chella is very thirsty. And we just go straight in to the soap. Yeah, so a few people have asked for this uh, uh, video. Is, it, is this new home-like razor, is it as smooth as the Game Changer? How does it perform against the Game Changer? Well, we're about to find out. The ladder flying out the bowl here. Yeah, Cella still, still works. 18.99. That was uh, first made. I don't know if it's the same recipe, but it just whips up the ladder, no problem. I mean, look at that. Look at that already. Yeah, it's very good. Very good soap, cream, crope. It's tallow based, so uh, bear that in mind if you're concerned you about your soaps, if you prefer vegan soaps or creams or stuff like that. These synthetic brushes just whip up this lather. Look at that. Yeah, chiller. I'll probably need more when I put it on my face, but let's uh, start doing that. I was just wetting my face there, yeah. Let's wet the face. <laughs> I always find that funny when I, I do it too. <laughs> when YouTubers say, I'll just wet the face. Oh, what did you do there? I just got some water and put it on my face. What was that called? Uh, just wet the face. <laughs> right, right, let's go with this. If um, anyone in the UK wonders what this smells like, you've probably watched lots of videos where people have said it smells like a Bakewell tart, and that's exactly what it smells like. There's a cake maker in the UK called Mr Kipling. He makes exceedingly good cakes. That's his little kind of tagline. On the uh, on the box, well, I think it used to be when I was a kid, so I think it still is. Um, he makes exceedingly good cakes. And uh, you get one called a uh, cherry bakewell, and it smells just like this. Right, a little bit of water in the brush. See the the shine on this, and it's just a great soap. Some people don't like the scent of it, but I like it. I've not used it for a long, long time. Right, that looks it. Look at that. I mean, you're not going to argue with that. The weather here, it's sunny. There's a little bit of wind. That's okay. Right. Get up the game changer. Here we go. Game changer on the right hand side with the 0.84 blade cap. It's a brand new Nasset. No overhang to worry about around the ears, so it's all good. Oh, yeah, nice knuckling on this handle. Personally, I think this is a little bit more grippy. Grippy. <laughs> but, um, still good. This is the Super Neural handle from uh, Razor Rock. And I'm saying that because uh, they do this 
if you do different handles for this razor. Do a first pass with the growth of the hair. Very comfortable. Let's uh, take this blade out. Just uh, take it out of that. And we'll just put it into the... Yeah, I was going to use the same blade from, uh, like two blades of the same. I thought, no, let's uh, keep things consistent and I'll just go with the same blade. Just put that on there. There's a little washer goes on that, like that. Let's put that in. Yeah, the difference between that is, look, there's uh, quite a bit of overhang at the sides there. But let's go with this and see how that feels. Right, bear in mind this is a 0 0.80. The game changer is 0 0.84. But straight away I can tell this is smoother. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can definitely tell that's um, a smoother shave. With the game changer, you can feel a little bit of blade with this. It looks like there's no blade in it. Gurkle! I need to eat. Right, that's good. Right. Yeah, they feel about the same. Cartridge police. I've not heard the, the, them guys for a while, but they're on their way. Right, okay. Yeah, this like, this side feels slightly closer, maybe? A tiny little bit. Right, let me rinse, I'll come back for the second pass. Okay, that is that rinsed off. Back to this, look at that. Beautiful. I smell a cella. Smell a cella. I smell a cella. <laughs> right, second pass, let's go with the uh, hummingbird on this side, on the left, right, left side. Yeah, that's. Um, that feels incredibly smooth. Incredibly smooth. Yeah, I can't actually feel like there, it doesn't feel like there's a blade in there. Yeah, so a point a point to the uh, hummingbird for the the handle, I prefer this handle, I think this is a, a little bit more grippy than the Game Changer. But the uh, Game Changer wins a point back for the no blade overhang. Which I like in a razor, but... Some people like uh, 
how about overhang. Just makes the razor look more traditional, I guess. Right. That's amazing. Soap's super slick. Right, changing out the blade again. Careful with the fingers. Give it a little rinse. Onto the game changer. Right. I'm just trying to find the little plastic washer. <laughs> I don't know where it is. You know what? It's maybe gone. It's maybe gone down the sink. Oh no, there it is. Here. this. Yeah, it's a little bit more of a blade feel. Obviously it's a little bit more aggressive. Uh, but still very smooth, but not as smooth as the Hummingbird for me anyway. Uh, and the good thing about the Hummingbird is you can buy different uh, blade gaps, different plates, so if you prefer a more um, efficient or aggressive shave, you can buy a different one. I don't know why Razor Rock will do that actually. Maybe that's in the pipeline. Maybe they'll, uh, they'll start to offer uh, different blade gaps with the Game Changer and that would be uh, very good. if they offered you that option. You know, because at the moment I think 0.84 is their uh, widest blade gap. Blade gaps are, some people are a bit fussy about them and stuff, but uh, just for the purposes of this, this is 0.84, that's 0.8. You can feel a tiny little bit of difference. Um, I can just feel like I've shaved this way quite a lot now. Um, just with more experience, you, you kind of get to learn how things feel and how the razors feel, and, but um, both very good. Uh, let's have a feel now. Yeah, it feels pretty much, pretty much the same. Right, let's rinse and we'll come back for the third and final pass. Right, rinsed off there. Uh, yeah, the uh, residual slickness from that cello is very good. I've noticed there's one tiny, tiny little weeper there on the uh, game changer side, but nothing to worry about. Both sides feel kind of the same. Right, let's go for pass number three. Yeah, if you if this isn't the scent of the soap, if it isn't kind of to your liking, they do a, a blue version of Chilla. They do like a an aloe vera, which is quite nice. I've used that too. Um, and these soaps, creams, cropes are from Chilla, relatively cheap, um, not expensive at all. Both these razors are great uh, balancing. The uh, the fit and finish on both of them are lovely. Um, the hummingbird is, uh, has a bit of a better polished finish. And the uh, game changer, but both very good. I'm not sure the price point actually. I'll I'll look that up and uh, I'll put it on the screen. Obviously, that will change as time goes on. So depending when you're watching this video <laughs> in the year uh, 2026. Thank you. 
Yeah, very smooth. Right, let's uh, switch this blade out again. Back to the home-like hummingbird with the nusset. Right, good to go. Yeah, both razors are um, very easy to find the angle uh, for shaving. Super smooth, very smooth. Even going against the growth like that. Uh, you can hear the audible feedback. Right, three passes done. spots for the pickups so just on the neck right because of the uh, the game changer is a little bit more efficient or in terms of in terms of blade gap I'll um, I'll switch over and use that for the pickups just um, to get any hairs that I've missed Like a, a pit stop. <laughs> it's changing over the blade. Back to the game changer. That was good. Right. I think the uh, I think the game changer might be um, slightly cheaper, but I don't know. I need to look up the prices, so I'll do that. As I said, I'll, I'll put it on the screen uh, when I said I was going to put it on the screen. That feels amazing. Right. I know I'm going to get comments saying, uh, "Can you try the <laughs> the uh, hummingbird against the car, or against the carbine, or against the something else?" So. Great blade, the, the Nasset. Got it. Cool. Right. Yeah, they both feel <laughs> really close. Right, let's uh, get some of this lather and have a little face wash. I'll leave this on, rinse it off with hot and cold, and then I'll see you for the post shave. We're going back to the 90s for the poor shave season.
great shave. <laughs> yeah, pretty much close. Um, same on both sides. Feels really, really nice. Yeah, very good. Okay, aftershave. Back to 1995. Uh, sorry. Um, let me just have a look. Yeah, 1995. <laughs> uh, when I was just a lad, just a lad, uh, 25 years old. Um, not this particular bottle, um, but I've seen it in the, one of the bargain stores here. I think it was Home Bargains. So I picked some up. Lynx Aftershave Africa. Uh, you guys in the States will probably know this. You'll probably get this as Axe. I think it's called Axe over there. In the UK it's called Lynx. Uh, Lynx Africa. A uh, very um, old school scent from the 90s. Yeah, here's the bottle here. Yeah, I've used this before, so um, very good. It, it was quite cheap, I think it was about four pounds. So um, it should be, <laughs> should get quite a good burn from this. Right, let's see. Oh, it takes me back. Wow. <laughs> yeah, good, good burn, good burn. Let's see if there's any little weepers come out. Here we go. <laughs> I smell like I was back at high school. Oh, wow. <laughs> back at high school? No, oh, I was married in 95, was I? Yeah. When did I get married? 1981. Wow. Yeah, so not back at high school. Um, anyway, right. <laughs> On to the uh, BAM. Uh, L'Oreal Men Expert. Hydrosensitive. Burt Sap. Soothing Burt Sap. Yeah, I find I've been using this quite a lot recently and it leaves my skin feeling really nice, really toned and stuff like that and there's no alcohol in it. Good splash of that. It doesn't have much of a scent. Well, uh, probably used way too much there. Yeah, once it dries in like Half an hour, an hour later, skin feels great. Really good. It looks quite like shiny. Because <laughs> it's quite uh, runny. Wow, that's good stuff. I like it. Shiny, happy people. <laughs> right, that's the shave. Yeah, look, there's a couple of weepers coming out with the, uh, the uh, aftershave. That's okay. Looks good. Smell like uh, back in the 90s. Right, let me show you what I've used. The brush for today was the Kevy Shaves DS Cosmetic 2020 Summer Brush. Synthetic knot, tuxedo style. Very good. It has these little flutes, which I'm not going to play the flute just now because um, some people are sleeping somewhere in the world. <laughs> right, um, the cream, we bowl allowed in this yellow bowl. I love this bowl. I love it. Uh, the cream or crope or soap was cella. Here is here. Scoop a little bit out into the bowl. Yeah, um, almonds. It's a cherry almond, not cherry. It's an almond type scent. Uh, yeah, still going strong. Eighteen ninety nine. Fantastic. Um, the blade was a brand new Gillette Nasset. Uh, last one in that pack. So there we go. Um, and the two razors, stars of the shave, the Razor Rock Game Changer 0.84 and the Home Like Hummingbird 0.80. So that on the right side of my face, pretty good. A couple of little weepers, but nothing to write home about. This is always, this, as you know, this is my little trouble spot here. So if there's any weepers, it's always going to be here. Uh, right, left side with the Hummingbird. Right. As I was saying, that the points, the plus points on these razors, uh, there's the blade still in that, the uh, game changer. Uh, no blade tabs on the, the game changer is one point for me. Uh, the handle for the hummingbird is another point for that. Um, pretty much the same weight length. Um, but this one felt smoother. smoother. Just that little bit. I mean, I'm not saying this is a, gives you a rough shave. It's a beautiful, smooth shaving razor. But this one, 
felt smoother. It didn't, you can feel the blade a little bit more in this just because, well, there's 0.4 of a millimeter, 0.4 of a millimeter difference in the in the gaps. But uh, yeah, this one just felt smooth. It'd be interesting to put uh, another more uh, wider gap, the one of the plates, you know, maybe the 1.10, and see if it, see how it fares against this. But uh, for the moment, uh, if I had to decide which one's smoother, uh, the Hummingbird wins smoothness. Uh, and comfort for a shave. This one I like because the no blade tabs uh, both have excellent handles but this one is a little bit more grippy for me. Um, yeah but good good razors, two good razors, you'll not go wrong. I think the price point on the Game Changer is a little bit cheaper. I'm not sure as I said I'll, I'll put that up on the screen but very enjoyable. I love doing these comparison shaves when I have the time to do them and fit them in. But there they are. Yeah there's the two razors there. So very good. Right, that's all for me for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. It's a, probably been a bit of a long video, but there you go. Changing out the blade every pass and stuff like that. But um, yeah, just kind of to keep things on an even sort of line, just to, so there's no disparities, disparities, changes uh, between each <laughs> pass. Yeah, I'm happy with that shave. There's a couple of dots here in the there. Feels good, feels very good, very smooth. Yeah, really nice, really happy. Right, uh, whatever razor you decide, if you're on the fence about either of these, you won't go wrong with either the Game Changer or the uh, the Russian Hummingbird from Homelike. Uh, both great, great razors. But for me, Hummingbird was a little bit smoother, just a little bit smoother. Um, right, okay, I'll see you in the next video. Um, I'll be using a new brush in the next video. I'm not sure what soap, maybe a new soap. Uh, let me have a think. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe a sample. I might use a sample. I've got some samples to use up that I, I got. So um, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, have yourselves a fantastic weekend. Spend it with loved ones. Stay safe. Be careful out there. Remember to wash your hands and sanitize your hands and yeah, just uh, watch what you're doing because uh, we all want to be together for the next shave. You, you need to come here. Come back and watch the next video. If you want. If you don't, that's fine. I'll stick with my mate. You okay? Yep, good. Right. <laughs> um, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.